Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sketch Sunday. And this year for 2021, we've decided to change it up a little bit for our Sketch Sundays. We will for sure still be doing uh, lots of Christie's from Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches Revisited. But we thought we might also add some sketches from some of our lovely scrappy friends. And this week we are doing a sketch by my dear friend Sarah, Sarah Scraps. And last weekend, I think it was last weekend, she posted on Facebook a sketch that she had got some new software and that she was playing around with maybe doing a few sketches. And we thought, yay, isn't that fun? So let's use that sketch for this week's Sketch Sunday. And that's what we're doing. Now, make sure, of course, you pop on down below and see Crystal's take on it. And all through January, our friend Becky from My Creative Life is joining us. Um, I'm not sure whether Amber is able to play or not, but her Instagram will be linked down below for sure in case she is able to play along. And in any case, her feed is definitely worth visiting if you don't already know it. Now, I'm not sure I've done this sketch justice and I had so much trouble finishing it and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that as we go along. But to begin with, I'm using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for January based on the Jen Hatfield the Avenue collection. So I use this lovely background paper, which is just sort of um, a vanilla or is it even more maybe a cement kind of color, which I thought went beautifully with the photo with these little dots uh, on the background in black. I used two of the pattern papers, so I sort of placed my photo and my papers pretty much the way the sketch is. Now, if you look at the sketch down at the bottom, you're going to see that Sarah did some lovely mixed media, and it looks like some very broad type paint strokes, which I think is gorgeous. So I've done that, and this is where I'm not sure I've done it justice, but Anyway, what I did, if you recall, I was talking about rediscovering the distress paints in my stash. So I took the antique linen out. I took my glacier paste in gold. And then here's a fun little find that I had in my stash. I have no idea how long I've had this. I think I have had this probably 15 years or so. This is probably one of the first things I bought when I started scrapbooking. Opalite and it's golden mist and it's sort of like a bit of a shiny paint. So what I did to begin with, I just went on the background and I dabbed my antique linen and I took this very broad brush and I did my paint strokes. And I do think you can see the paint strokes in there. I don't know whether I'm showing it to you enough. I should come back and actually do this kind of background for you live at one point. But I hope you can see that a little bit. I found that it was actually quite, and it just sort of, faded into the background quite a bit as it's almost the same color. So I added this on top and did that a little bit. And you can see it here more specifically where it really, am I doing that right? Gives a little bit of a sheen. I would say it's more of a sheen than it is a shimmer. So I got that down. Uh, and then I just went in with a palette knife, a palette knife, and then also a little bit of the brush, but more of the palette knife with the Nouveau Glacier in different spots. And I like that effect, but I wanted a little bit more contrast. So I took my Heidi Swap Color Shine in Peach and used the brush on the side, like as opposed to this way, I used the brush on 
the side to just give a few little strokes. And I, I like that. I think I'm, I'm close to the thing. I'm sure Sarah's is much nicer. I will put, um, I think she did a video or did I just see? Anyway, I'm going to look for that. And if there is one, I will definitely put it down below. I then got my papers and I decided to back the photo in a very, very thin strip of black as well as this pattern paper and frame the entire layout because I found that it needed a little bit more pop. Although I love the colors I chose, I found it needed a little bit more pop. So I added some black. And then I looked closely again at Sarah's sketch and she seems to have some of that little mixed media on top of the pattern paper. So I went back in and I repeated exactly what I had done on the paper. And I think that made me a little bit happier with the layout. I then put some gold and here I have some mixed metals and I'm fine with that because I find here there is even, I mean, I know it's a little bit brown, but it almost looks a little coppery. Um, the trays here are beautiful golden color. So I used the Jen Hatfield collection, the Avenue, and I got this die cut out, uh, this die cut out and this memories. And I added that to my page. And then this photo, um, and you're going to see, I think it's maybe tomorrow that I'm posting a little bit of a new series on trying to finish up some albums and getting some photos organized and that kind of thing. So this is just a photo looking where you could look in or out uh, to and from the Colosseum in Rome. And the idea really is just sort of modern, the past, if you're looking in this way, Rome as a city as it now. And the title that came to me so that I could have a nice long title or subtitle was eavesdropping on and from the past is beautiful because I really wanted to get this die cut. So my initial title was simply eavesdrop on and from the past. Then I decided I would do eavesdropping on and from the past, but then I really wanted this die cut there and it's mounted up on foam. And these are the larger letters, which were part of the Avenue collection. So I made a nice long title and then this is where I started going and trying to figure out. I got, I got these, the Maggie Holmes out, and then I was trying to maybe get this, these little leaves added on there. But then if I put that there, I found I had a gap there and I had a gap there that I didn't like. So I took that off and then I tried putting it up here and that just looked a little silly. Then I felt I needed something there. And then I had a gap here. So that wasn't working for me. Then I had this little flower that I thought, oh, maybe I'll just point it there. And that, that actually is not so bad, but I don't know that it really adds anything to it. Tell me what you think. I'm not sure that it adds anything to it. Um, if I put it here, it fades into the background. Then I thought maybe I would use the butterfly here. Then that leaves a gap there. Up here doesn't add. So I just kept going back and forth and back and forth thinking I needed to add something. But it just wasn't working, so I didn't. Then I took the sticker sheet out and thought maybe I would find some smaller ones. So I took this heart out put it there. That didn't add anything for me. So in the end, I said, you know what? I am going to leave it like that. Tell me what you think. I don't think in the end. And if you look at Sarah's beautiful layout, the mixed media does a lot of the work. The title does a lot of the work. So I really think it just leave it well enough alone because then I got these out and I thought, oh, Look, if I put amazing there, that's kind of cute, but it doesn't add anything. It leaves a funny gap there for me. So it came off as well. So there you go. It's staying 
just like that. Tell me what you think. Would you add anything to this? Or would you leave it just the way it is? It's not necessarily my favorite layout. I think it goes well with the photo. I'm not sure I've done my lovely, lovely friend Sarah justice, but I tried. It's in the book and I love this technique. I'm definitely going to do this again um, on a cardstock background. I think on a white cardstock background with some brighter colors or on a black cardstock background with this kind of thing because look this is just really it's it, they call it opalines and that is exactly what it is it's a little bit like an opal shine isn't that pretty yeah now you see that wouldn't that have been nice on a black background yeah that would have been lovely on a black background so we need to come back and do that I will do that for you very, very soon. So there you go. There is today's layout. Make sure again, as I mentioned before, you pop on down below and see what my lovely friends were up to. And I will put Sarah's channel down below as well. We'll see you again here next week for another Sketch Sunday. And I will see you again very soon with another layout. Thanks for being with me. Stay safe, my friends. And I hope you are having some lovely scrappy time today since it's Sunday. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.